Uh, my name is uh, Martin Kifuri Jaroge. I finished school last year and I'm 20 years old. Uh, I like farming and actually at school that's when I, I started liking farming since I started doing agriculture since from one up to four and I've been interested in agriculture more. Maybe so, you can tell us what inspired you to do farming. Well, I I was inspired to do farming since I love animals. Mostly I used to love dogs, cats. I used to play with them a lot, but something more something more used to attract me to cows and their product that is milk. So I began loving by reading more about cows in school. I used to read I began reading about their hooves. I used to ask my dad how to get a good breed that you used to, to check me at this tell me uh, can check from this part to this part. Mm -hmm. If it's wide enough, also the other of the cow will be wide enough and it will be possible for me to understand the amount of milk that a cow can bring or can bring forth. So I also got interested on the product that it's gotten from the cow, either meat or milk. But I was inst interested more on the milk. I think you picked it from your dad's uh, investment on dairy cattle. So how did you take it to the next level? I decided since my father used to milk, to milk a lot of milk and sell it in raw product in town. So he has a small shop, he sells only just milk alone. So I decided I can add value. I started by buying 20 liters from my father. And I did value addition by making yogurt. And then I would sell to people. I started with selling by, by selling five liters where my father sells his raw milk. I started by selling, mm -hmm. I started by selling, selling milk, the, the milk plus the yogurt. I would introduce to people, I would tell them to have a taste, give me some comments. And well, I got good comments and I had the courage to sell my, my yogurt to other people. Like how much that uh, that cow can produce per day? Okay, so this cow it can bring about 30 to 35 liters per day. Uh -huh. It ranges from that to 35 to four times a day. So I'd use that one that from this cow I'd take the milk from that cow, make yogurt and sell to people. How do you make the yo yogurt? Maybe you can brief briefly describe how you make it. Okay, yogurt. You first have to get very fresh milk, fresh milk straight from the cow. Then you sieve it to make it sure that it's clean. You put it on a metal gel can. Then you have to carry out a water bath. You dip the, the fresh milk in a hot water, water bath, where you have to boil this milk using the, what, the water bath up to a temperature of 85. You have to use a thermometer to measure the temperature. At, at tem the temperature of 55, you have to add catch the the stabilizer to make the yogurt look smooth and you also to have to add sugar as you are boiling the, the milk you have to make sure that you stir so that the milk won't at the lower part the milk won't stick and make the, the yogurt have those partic small particles that are br brought forth by the milk actually you do this you boil the temperature up to the milk the milk up to a temperature of 85 so that you can kill the bacteria that may be found in the, mm -hmm. in the milk. So you have to boil the temperature, the milk up to a temperature of 85 to make sure all the, the, the bad germs that may be found in the milk are killed by this 85, te 85 degree temperature. So after that, after it has reached up to a temperature of 85, you have to cool. You reduce the temperature for about 30 minutes. Then you remove the product, the yogurt from the hot water bath and put it in a cold cold water in cold water bath where it is cooled to a temperature of 45. Then you add the uh, the kacha belonging to yogurt. Since there are two kachas, there's yogurt for mala mm. and there's the kacha for yogurt. And how do you market your yogurt? I started I started by by introducing to people small bit by small bit. Mm -hmm. Give them to tell to I told them to give me their, their suggestions. Their suggestions. Yeah. And I was given the suggestion. Uh, they were very positive. Where do you see yourself in the next uh, five years? Well, I see myself very far. Since 
from where, where I came from, it was very far. I started by five liters, the next day ten liters, and now I'm even unable to to fulfill to to meet the demand of the people since it is too high. I've also started. I want now to start selling my yogurt, not only in our town where I've I've been selling for some quite some time. I want to go far, maybe Nairobi, Nyeri, Eldoret, other towns, so that at least I can be able to market myself very far. Maybe you have any message for the youth and agriculture? Agriculture. Mm -hmm. Okay, people have been saying agriculture is only digging. To me, I've seen agriculture is not only digging. Agriculture can, you can also dig without actually ha holding a jebe or a pan. I'm doing agriculture by digging, but I'm not digging directly. I'm digging through value addition. So they would don't say agriculture is only digging. You can also do value addition and it will take you far.